Hi Cancer! This is your weekly day-by-day -day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 18th of April 2022. Okay, I'm gonna begin immediately, or rather with Monday the 18th of April. For you Cancer, and we have, seven, uh, pardon me, six of swords. Ten of swords. Seven of wands. Ten of wands, Thursday. Friday, the High Priestess. Ten of cups, Saturday. And the Tower, Sunday. Five of cups, your influencing energy. Okay, we'll comment on it just now. So, six of swords, Monday. With the King of Pentacles. Ten of swords with the sun. Seven of wands with the lovers. Ten of wands Thursday with the queen of swords. The high priestess Friday with five of wands. Ten of cups Saturday with the queen of wands. And the tower Sunday with the king of wands. Interesting pairings you have. You are putting dot on some difficult times. I can see that, look, six of swords, ten of swords, ten of wands. Anyway, um, look, ace of cups, your influencing energy. It, it says even earlier, even last week, perhaps, you saw your opportunity to be happy. There was something out there. Um, possibility, opportunity, uh, gleams of hope that things will change. Look, these two cups are also standing behind this person. Reminder, something new has begun. Something lovely, something prosperous, something very emotional, something very beautiful, very balanced. Okay, things is happening. Even though last week it was just an opportunity, just possibility, you didn't even perceive it. Okay, like last week, you didn't perceive it as a real deal. Even if it's um, kind of you met somebody, it, in its lovely beginning of this relationship, you still see, you still just perceive it as maybe, maybe. You don't see it as a current situation, development of the situation. You don't see it in that way. You are all about drawn into your past. You are drowning in these feelings of regrets and remorse and sadness. Who offended you? Who did hurt you? What wrong you've done to another and you cannot forgive yourself? Could also mean something like that. But you are all into your past, okay? Though things are changing, all right? You are very much aware of it. You were, in fact. Look, as I said, you are leaving behind something, that's for sure, with the Six of Swords leaving behind this conflict, something which was turbulent in your life, difficult in your life. You managed to navigate and finally you find your way. You feel very good about yourself. Look, this is uh, uh, King of Pentacles. Oh, you are sitting solid on your ground, okay? You know exactly where you are heading. You know what kind of decision you are making. You know exactly what is useful. You, what you can use now, what you should leave behind. In that sense, this Monday, you are very grounded. You are planning your life, you are planning your business, and everything which you are doing on this day, which you are planning, this is mostly planning, going towards, thinking of, but you are very grounded. You know exactly that is going to be like that. This energy of King of Pentacles doesn't guess anything or doesn't leave anything to accidental or possible. Possible. This one is planning everything thoroughly, everything properly arranged and organized. Changing job, you know, going for something much more suitable for you, something which you would like to stay with. Changing residence, okay, again, this will be something much closer to your work, much more suitable for you, much more useful place for you. Could also mean something like that, because there's movement towards something easier, related to your work, your career, your money making, in in that sense but look brighter days are coming that's your awareness that from earlier on you see what I'm saying with ace of cups even there was you know remembering things that were said and regrettable things were not really happy three spilled cups with this one some failures you did have and you were remembering that but you knew as well that a new opportunity you do have for yourself now here as well it's paining yes 
It was difficult. It was tough on you. Failures, people, you couldn't anymore fight this, this fight, this battle. You were defeated. You were exhausted. There was no way out for you. And it's finished. Brighter days are coming. You are at the very beginning, okay? Still not ready to support yourself, but you will. Your better days are coming. You are very much aware of that. It's over. It's over with troubles. It's over with sadness. You are going towards much better times. Look, with Seven of Wands and the Lovers on Wednesday, look, Seven of Wands is defensive energy okay sometimes you have to prove yourself you have to prove your idea you have to have this exam or something you know this energy is stressful there is requirements from you this this wants all against you and you are kind of defending yourself people are arguing or people are asking you explain yourself do you really know what do you think with this what did you say exactly you see what i'm saying and you are explaining Proving your knowledge, your abilities, your worth. You see what I'm saying? In that sense, the Seven of Wands are very much visible here. But being adamant, being certain, being even stubborn, you will defend yourself. You will prove yourself. It, as I said, it is a stressful moment when you have to, you know, and you clinch your feet and you have to and you must. You see what I'm saying? Like the energy, like that. Do you know that from now on there won't be problems anymore? It's just like a, this is last that you're going through, okay? You know better times are coming your way. You, you knew it, you saw it, you saw possibility even from earlier on. And just that opportunity from earlier on, it begins to materialize. You know that better times are coming your way. Whether that you are finally found the person you love. This is your soulmate. Or you found your greatest job. You find your path through your career, through your money making. You, you see what I'm saying? Whatever that is in your life, you found your way. Better times, brighter times are coming your way. Okay, or you are heading towards. It doesn't matter. Now, that is your acknowledgement with the lovers. You know you cannot make mistake anymore. There is a right path for you, whichever way that you go. And this is last battle last battle which you are fighting you see what i'm saying here on wednesday now you will drop this load as well you did have something which is burden which is painful or conflicting or you look you did have plenty on your shoulders big load weighing on your shoulders and you will drop that as well you know this is your clarity it's finally and this insight you can finally get to this destination you can drop this load you can begin anew and it's going to be easier for you finally it's obvious it's clear to you it's a norm to you you see what i'm saying all the time you do have these energies within yourself it will be better just this still some more still carry on endure just one more just another step you see what i'm saying all the time you're pushing yourself you know that is over you know better times are coming your way but something is still lingering this is difficult past that is on the way out dying out moving out but it's still there paining look at these energies outer energies still difficult but they are belonging to past you are dropping it you are sending it away you are finishing with it okay that is clarity here that what you know this is kind of very much clash of that what you know where you are heading and you are heading towards something much better you know when you really know this opportunity i'm not gonna miss this opportunity will bring me good career good money will buy me my own place will make my family happy you see what i'm saying in that sense you know it it's just this week to tie this up that what is now that what was till now difficult conflicting burden on you is over now, with the High Priestess and Five of Wands, this is kind of um, being conflicting yourself. Five of Wands within you, you are having plenty ideas now. What now? This is dealing with past all the time, all the time, the whole week up until Thursday. You are dealing with past because you are moving with something else. By Friday, you feel it's over. You don't have to worry anymore, but you are not comfortable yet. 
you are still conflicting yourself. I really feel it's stressful. It will be better. That's what you know. You are going for better and there is awareness. But a stressful situation where painful now is meeting your optimism in your future. You see what I'm saying? That kind of a week, very conflicting, in a conflict you do have it here on Friday. Um, it will be perhaps a very passive day for you. You will need to spend some time by yourself okay there's no people around you don't feel like talking with people like interacting like telling them like listen to them no interaction that you seek on this day you just need to be by yourself you need to calm yourself down because you are bubbling here you are confused yourself as i said this is all this stress that you have this week dealing with the difficulties chasing them away hiding up in order to make space for the new it was stressful and takes toll I believe on this day you all I believe rumbling within okay with this five of wands this is conflicting fighting energy within you and that's why you will need to be by yourself on this day to spend some time by yourself trying to harmonize to balance yourself okay that is now compulsory that is now what you have to do to find your peace balance and harmony for yourself Ten of Cups, a beautiful Ten of Cups. I believe by, by, by this weekend, by Friday, everything is finished. Then it's just to tide up yourself, okay, here on Friday. And Saturday feels much better. You might actually have people around to celebrate. You might actually call family, cousins, relatives, friends, you know, just to have a good time. Because Queen of Wands likes to enjoy, likes to have good times, having great ideas, speaking with people, enjoying the moment, organizing something. Let's get together. Let's enjoy. Let's be happy. Let's celebrate this moment, this change in my life. Because you've got great ideas now about your life. Looking forward to that what is coming, being so joyful, enthusiastic about your future life, what you are creating from now on for your future. Very enthusiastic, very jolly energy, this Queen of Wands, very friendly. So I think you might actually on this day have people around yourself, being that Friday is a very much day for solitude. This is opposite on Saturday, People come around, let's talk, let's have fun, let's enjoy, let's dance. You see what I'm saying? Beautiful Saturday. Now, from Queen of Wands into King of Wands, as I said, this is creating something for your future, something beautiful, something that you are excited about. Now, that energy, very present here on Sunday, just in a different way. This one is competent energy. If you have this sort of energy and you're planning something for your future, my future will now be with this company, I will do this sort of job, I will have this sort of salary, and it's going to be so, 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 and so. That kind of plan is doable. You are very confident about that. This energy knows what it's doing, okay? There's no mistake with this energy. With Queen of Wands as well, you've got these energies of now I know where I stand, what I will do, where I'm going to be next year. You see what I'm saying? In that sense, energies are very enthusiastic creators, these two meaning that you will change a lot in your life. <laughs> I mean, it seems to me with all these tens, with six of swords, with difficulties that you did have earlier on, that you are leaving behind, you will kind of feel that you are breaking down everything, everything that you did have in your life till now, that friendships, that relationships, that uh, workplace, that, I don't know, you don't want to work for that, you don't want to work in that place anymore. You will change your residence even, okay? Your workplace, your residence, there will be new friends that side. Things are beginning anew and you've got your plans and you know where you are heading and that what was, it will go away. It will just disappear. Now, on Sunday, might be a bit noisy, um, might be a bit unpleasant. I don't like uh, tower energy out as an outer energy because it brings noise, brings dirt, brings dust. You see what I'm saying? Maybe people... Uh, 
who are not really happy with that what you are doing, with that what is happening. This is kind of something life changing. It's going for the better, it's going for the happier. But maybe that is not all people that are happy because of that. Maybe they did have some sort of connection, some sort of business with you. They will not be happy. They will be people who will feel embarrassed, angry, fallen or something like that. This is outer energy, very noisy, very interruptive. It, you, it won't interrupt you, okay? You know what you know. You know where you are heading and there where you are firmly standing. You are so confident here. Saturday and Sunday, everything is done. Everything that was difficult related to your past, all done by this weekend. You can just enjoy very lovely Saturday. You might actually think to call people around to celebrate. And then you will firmly stand with your idea. And, and it doesn't matter who's angry, who has fallen, what is going away. You want it to go away because you've got your new ideas, new plans, new life you want for yourself and you are going for it. Enjoy it, Cancer. 